Williamson County, this is Week in Review. Today in Ms. Cole's class, we were learning about similar triangles and we made blow up figures of the Flintstones. And then our I can statement was I can create similar figures. Now I'm working on the electrical install learning system here at the mechatronics class. And right now we're hooking up a piece of equipment called the contactor, the forward contactor and the reverse contactor to the fuse block so that way whenever we turn it on it's not going to short out or blow a fuse. Well, we're doing projects on Rube Goldberg who basically made sim he made complicated machines to do one simple project. So um, in class today, we, our project is to pop a balloon, but we have to use four simple machines. Today in geometry, we learned how to find the area of different geometric shapes using formulas. I'm in Panthers Care Club, and we're making um, blankets for dog and dogs and cats at the animal shelter. Today we are at Panthers Care Club, and we are tying knots for the dogs. We're using engineering, the engineering and design process to make hot air balloons out of tissue papers and glue. This week in PE, we picked out a song, performed a dance, and performed it in front of our class. down and that'll hit dominoes that we haven't set up. Everybody's building their own section and we're going to connect them all and at the end we're going to raise a flag. We're building a Rube Goldberg machine with simple machines. Hello, my name is Lily and I am in first grade and we read the story Hansel and Gretel and we wrote our own book and wrote it in our own word. Here, here's mine. We are at Edmonton Elementary in first grade and we are learning to write how-tos. So today we're practicing writing a how-to using Play-Doh so they get to create something with Play-Doh and then they get to write how they did that step by step. We are doing the food fair and basically uh, we each bring a crop and we bring food from our own countries that we picked in class and we have information and facts and stuff like that. Hi, I'm Indy and today in science we learned, this, we sang a song that helped us remember all the seven levels of taxonomy and it helped us remember classification. I had an awesome time with the father-daughter dance with my dad and had such a lot of sweet memories that I was able to make with my dad tonight. Um, I, my favorite dance was um, the Big Green Tractor by Jason Aldean that we sang to. <laughs> Our sixth grade boys basketball team has done pretty well this season. We beat Hillsboro 29 to 20, and I feel like we're getting along pretty well. We are in my geometry classes. We are finishing up our tri our chapter on all of our right triangle stuff, which involves Pythagorean special right and trig. Hey guys, it's awesome Amy here with the Bouchardon team. We're here at Sunset Elementary School, and we're here over the next few days helping their school raise funds for new alternate seating, new fitness things in their school. Right now we are coding and it, it helps us problem solve because when we're doing it we have to try and make sure that we can get each code right. We have to make new codes and change stuff around. Hi, I'm Annie Bruns. I'm a senior at Brentwood High School and this is opening day for Brentwood Softball. We were making boots out of tin foil and we were putting the little candy hearts in and see if it would sink or if it wouldn't sink. And we, eat, and we each built in our own boat. I had the idea of curling the end up so no water could get in. Hi, my name is Gracie Beard and I'm an 8th grader at Fairview Middle School and I entered my poem, English, into the Society of Tennessee Student Contest and it won fourth across the entire, the entire state. I'm really, really excited. Hi, welcome to class of 2021 freshman orientation night. We're so excited to have all of these freshmen that are going to be here next year check out our school and meet people that are already here at Centennial. Researching about presidents and now we're researching about Abraham Lincoln. We're jump roping for our hearts. <laughs> we're going to jump and people are going to raise money for the Heart Association. 
It's Book Fair Week at Heritage Elementary. It's Camp Read S'more. Braxton, what did you get? I got a new Lego book that I'm going to get. Awesome. We've had so much fun this week. Tons of awesome books sold. Can't wait for another one. The kids are building little demonstrators themselves in the hallways. They're drawing out pictures that have the demonstration and the materials. And we are trying to, well, make a basically a creative way to make waves. This week in sixth grade language arts, we did a book report called Book Talk. My book was Happy Kid by Gail Gauthier. And I presented The Society of Us by Susan Hubbard. My book was Perfect Girl by Mary Hogan. Today, my grandfather, Carver McGriff, came to speak to us about his experiences in World War II. I think it was neat how Dr. McGriff showed us a story about how a German doctor saved his friend's life. He even brought back a metal box as a souvenir to show us. In science class, we were learning about force and motion and determining how far our trolley can go based on how much force is applied to it. I'm recording all the results to see how much impact it will have. And those meetings are designed to help build the community uh, around the school, the sense of community. And at the end of every meeting, we sing our scale school song, and the kids wave their hands back and forth. And they are just loving the Mustang meetings. Fourth grade students at Winstead spent the day exploring the laws of physics by doing experiments that demonstrated each of Newton's laws of motion. Because I wanted to show people who didn't know how to pitch a baseball to pitch a baseball. We do this to improve our public speaking skills. It taught me how to give a speech. Or we can review I'm out of here.